Here's turtle number two. Very large soft shell turtle up in the grass here on the wrong side of the road from the lake over there. So, let's see if we can get it back into the water. Interesting thing about these is unlike the gopher tortoise, these have a very long neck and they bite a lot, which uh, we'll try to demonstrate with something that we don't need to take home with us, like our finger. Let's try for a stick. Here's the stick, Here's my hand, and here is the soft shell turtle. It's the same jumping behavior. Well, it'll probably not, maybe it won't snap at anything until we pick it up, but to give you an idea of how big it is, let's just take a look at my hand and the turtle. I want to keep an eye on both of them together because you can lose appendages. So it's, my foot's about 12 inches long, this is about two feet long, and being careful with my foot again, about a foot wide. And probably relatively heavy as well. All right, so let's see here. This is, it will just coax it over to the water. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pick it up with one hand. It is moving the right direction. My only concern is that somebody might run over it before it gets there. Hello, turtle face. Hello there. Yep, you're a big one, aren't you? To walk around a little bit here. They lay in the water like that, with their nose sticking up, just the nose and their eyeball sticking up out of the water. That's how they, how they keep an eye on things. They hunt fish and bugs and crabs and whatever they can find. I used to feed the ones behind my house uh, chicken and leftover meat and cat food when I ran out of real food. All right, here we go. We got a car coming here, so we'll wait for the car to go by. And then we're going to. Oop! There's a. Ugh, that is way too heavy to pick up with one hand and way too slippery. Okay, here we go. Signing off to pick it up. Hopefully in one piece when I get done.